All right, welcome to this kind of uh, preview, I think it's going to be, of Thea 2. I should see maybe a let's look at. I, uh, there's so many new games coming out that I'm interested in for my channel this uh, month, and I don't have time to actually do all of them justice, but I do want to go ahead and do a few episodes at least of Thea. And I don't know, I mean, if things go well, maybe I can make this into a full-fledged let's play, but it's going to be hard because uh, Christmas is coming up too. I'm going to be pinched on time for vacation as well as it's just being busy. So anyway, let's start in. This is our God selection screen, which you'll remember from Thea, if you played Thea. We only have two options available. I kind of hope that this is still randomized. Uh, in Thea, it was randomized which ones you got access to initially. And uh, so I hope that everybody's getting a different set when they start up. Now, I did play one really quick game just to kind of go through some stuff and I didn't do very well, um, so we're going to go to next. And uh, what I wanted to point out is when you start a brand new game, you should only have two god points available to buy cards, which means you aren't going to be able to buy anything on your first playthrough. I, however, have four points because I started that one game earlier. I hope the music's not too loud either. Um, I did adjust the volume. So anyway, let's go ahead and get going. Uh, you only have a certain few things available right now, uh, like... So we got the puzzle one available. There is another page too, so keep an eye on this. This seems like a very limited number of unlocks, but I think more options should surely be getting added. Maybe they're just not available yet because it's early access, or maybe you unlock them the longer you play. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, as you can see in your normal setup, you're only gonna have basically this for your option. like. I, I checked with both the nature girl and this magic guy, and uh, I always ended up with just this one that I couldn't use. Now, the thing is, though, I have four points to spend right now, which means I can go ahead and uh, unlock one of these. Now, you can start the game with one piece of jewelry, three basic pieces of equipment, uh, 20 basic supplies, food, fuel, or herbs, uh, a mithril goat, which I won't be able to use, uh, a little dog, which I can't use because this icon here has to match this icon here, so it's really these regular bubbles that I'm interested in. Uh, a basic shield or a basic robe. Mm. I can't use that guy. There's nothing on page two that I can afford. I think we're going to go with the 20 basic supplies. Okay, we've got that available now. Let's add it there. Let's go next. And these are our characters that we get. Uh, let's see, this is God's Chosen that we're selecting from here. So we have a scavenger class, and you can pick the uh, starting uh, portrait you want. Let's go with that guy. We have a scoundrel, and there's only one, there's only one image available there. Let's go female. Uh, she's pretty cool looking too, uh, for our actual human warrior. And then we have a little girl, or a little boy. Let's go with the little boy. And who do we want to have be God's chosen? Wait, what? How did this get? Yeah, that's the one I wanted to stick with. Wait, what? Oh, 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 you're choosing who is God's chosen, and then you choose the portrait, but then the rest of your guys just end up being whatever, I believe. Yeah, okay, that's how that's working. I see, I see, I misunderstood that. Uh, enter character name. Justin. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll have God's Chosen be a little human child. Okay. And... The game is starting up. I assume. <laughs> let's hope. Yeah, there we go. Uh, interestingly, there are no options for setting world parameters now, so it's always going to be... Yeah, like you just don't set world size or difficulty or anything like that, apparently. Uh, yeah, not sure what to make of that exactly. Um, I do think that the difficulty of enemies increases over time, so we need to be careful. Uh, let's see. Well, hello there, Chosen. Welcome to the service of the gods. As a believer myself, I am happy to be the one to guide you. Uh, who is he exactly? They've changed the way you interact here, where it's like you're kind of talking in third person. So instead of, in the previous, it was like, who are you? Like, you're talking to Theodore. Instead, it's like, ask who he is. Like, that's what, that's the way I would rather see it worded, is if you're gonna, like, either say, ask who it is, or be like, who is he exactly? So instead of the game talking to me, I'm, yeah, anyway. 
Forget it. Forget it. Uh, who is he exactly? Theodore's the name, so you, that's why I meant who, who are you exactly is kind of what you say, but then the game is saying, are you going to ask, who is he exactly? Anyway, uh, but little old me is not relevant. You were here to tell some basic rules. Yep, got the cosmic seed from the last game. Yep, Thea is far from a land of prosperity. The shattering tears the earth asunder. Uh, how does it relate to the seed? The seed, and like all others, allows you to set up a village and provide divine protection there, but if you wish for the life of a traveler, or if you are skilled enough to create another seed one day, this seed can be used to forge divine artifacts or even bring back a comrade from the clutches of death, so one cannot build villages without a seed. We are going to try to build a village, okay? Um, indeed, you catch on fast. This is how it w has been in Thea for many centuries now. It is why we struggle still to survive just another day. Is there anything else you need to know? Again, is there anything else I need to know? We're not asking Theodore if there's anything else he needs to know. Uh, I may pop up now and again to tell you of things. Remember to check for resources on the map for gathering, set up for craft and cooking, and check your inventory. My advice is to explore, learn the ropes, and only then decide on a settlement. Thank him for the advice. Alright, we got some wood and some meat. Let's go and heal. Oh my goodness. You're kidding me, right? Okay, phew. It's like, <laughs> don't tell me we started on an island and I can't get off of it. Um, all right, so we are on an isthmus, though. Uh, let's take a look at our dudes real quick. I'm going to hold off on choosing what to research here because we'll look on the map for some good resources to park ourselves next to. Uh, we got to click here, go to equipment, uh, an amber mallet. Wow. Okay, uh, so if we compare this to our iron hatchet, uh, the hatchet is how much damage? Okay, well, the mallet's got to be more. The mallet, I think it's doing 8 damage and has a speed of 9 point... No, it does 6 damage and has a speed of... 9.2 is the damage in parentheses because of the strength of the character. Uh, there's a lot about the game mechanics, guys, that I'm still not super duper skilled and experienced with here. So bear with me. Uh, she's got the bone artifact, which is a good weapon for um, various attacks. So it has a uh, purple destiny attack, and it also has a yellow... Uh, wisdom attacks if you get into those different challenges you can use this item i don't like the way that it kind of flickers back and forth under the sub skills i really wish the ui would just show you everything at once uh even if it means extending the size of the pop-up um yeah i really don't like that style of ui so anyway i'm not i don't want to be too complainy guys but i'm just saying these are my criticisms that i would give to the devs if they watch or if i can collect my thoughts and tell them what i think uh the protective amulet uh just gives us a bonus action in in uh, combat, which is going to only raise defense by one, basically. It's not great, is it? Uh, does it do anything else? No. That's okay. We'll leave it, we'll leave it on the kid because he doesn't have anything else he can do with it. Uh, the hatchet we can go ahead and give to this girl here. Is this a girl or a guy? Yeah, it's a girl. Okay. So, and we got our berserker warrior. And uh, this crazy person here with the eye patch that has an eye on it. Uh, okay. All right, so we got that set up. Uh, we need to just go ahead and move. Oh, there's some fish. So if we did set up a village there, we could have harvested the fish. Uh, there's some enemies over here. Let's go ahead and move here. Oh, and there's a ruin there. Let's go ahead and turn on the resources. Okay, so we're right next to some meat. Uh, one thing that's changed from Thea 1 is that you can camp without spending your uh, without spending your uh, movement points. So even if you move somewhere with zero movement point, you can still camp, which I like. I'm glad they made that change. Uh, now this is a wood, so if we camp here, we get the special wood resource plus the meat, and I think that would be a good candidate for a village. Uh, but we need to find out what kind of wood that is. I think it's this. Dryad wood? looks like dryad wood. We're not going to make that research decision just yet. Uh, instead, we will go ahead and camp and gather our wood. Or, I'm sorry, gather... Oh, wait, what? Oh, there are no nearby resources. Really? Okay. Well, in that case, uh, we'll just spend a turn... Oh, man, we... Yeah, cooking. So let's cook some mushrooms, I guess. 
Yeah, cooked food. Confirm. And if you just click here, they add your best crafters immediately. And you only get two, whereas you used to get five, but everybody other than the primary would uh, get a penalty. Let's see if we can craft anything. Uh, we don't have enough wood to really craft anything, so there you go. Okay, take a turn. All right, so as tradition has it, your god sent me to guide you uh, to get us started. Uh, check what resources you have near you. There's a toggle next to the mini-map, which we just did. Uh, okay, nod. If you have some food and wood, they are always good to stock up on. You need both to heal when camped, and you need a variety of foods to better heal your mental wounds. Yep. Uh, finally, my first task for you, cook or find me some more food, please. To do it, set up camp and choose that juicy chicken dumpling that's what we did uh that's just the icon uh let's see cook or the basket to gather food from this land okay okay and uh we made our we made our 10 soup food let's go ahead and move so yeah unfortunate okay it's here is where it was okay well anyway whoops oh man we can't actually move there can't actually get that far well I guess we'll just move here there's some right oh wow there's tons of okay that's interesting um, having the two resources available just means we'd be able to gather with twice as many people let's go ahead and gather uh, our meat we'll get a couple of meat because I think you'll it so this if you have more than the required then you should get for every 63 you should get so if i have 63 production i'll get one set of meat and if i have 126 which i have more than that then i'll get two and then any excess will be left on the bar i'll go ahead and show that in case you're new to thea so yeah we got eight meat there and then if we go ahead and go back in whoops and decided we wanted to continue gathering we have the excess rolling over so anyway there we go uh we want to investigate that Ruin. Correct. Yes. Uh, torn asunder by the shattering, but more than that, there's an odd light beaming from the gash. Search the ruins, despite the likely danger. Uh, sandstone. Good. Uh, something is trying to get in. Resist it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into battle. And, yep. Well, we can do auto-resolve and see what the result is. A victory with serious injuries or resolve manually. We're probably gonna get the same result even if we resolve manually, but we'll resolve manually. Okay, so the combat UI, I have some kind of, uh, mm, yeah, I have some, I'm not terribly thrilled with it at the moment. It's, uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so he has an ability from something. I don't know what, I don't know why he gets this ability. But who has our highest attack here? You have the highest with four damage being dealt. And to select this action is going to cost one action point, which is represented by the gear. And you get more of these for each turn, right? So anyway, yep, stick them in. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, we have a turn. We have a gear turn left. Okay, so with that, why don't we go ahead and just bolster your defense? Okay. So both of these guys, the next time I play them, it's going to cost two uh, action points, regardless of whichever action it is. Okay. So these guys are both going to do eight damage. Uh, so I can do two damage for one action point, and another two damage for one... No, that's for two action points. Or I can do four damage for two action points. So I really think... Why don't we go ahead and stick this guy in and uh, absorb some more damage if possible. Uh, Subskill, Hunter's Mark. Lowers combat attributes of the attacked character. Increases target's delay. I really still don't understand what this thing is doing. <laughs> but if you choose it, it appears to be a debuff you apply to the enemy cards. So let's just go ahead and do it. Again, some stuff... It still needs to be, uh, still needs a little bit more polish, I think. I mean, it looks really nice and beautiful, the game does, don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah, there's just some stuff that I'm still not terribly clear on that, uh, I'd like to see clarif 
cleared up in the future updates. Um, you can do this for two, correct? Let's go ahead and add more defense to our fighter. And the turn. Okay. Now you'll see there's not two of these cards on the board. It's the same card in two positions, and that's what the duplicate here means. So this is the same entity. It's just split in two. That's something else that I'm kind of not a huge keen fan on with the mechanics of the game yet. Uh, I found this very confusing visually when I first uh, did this. Now if you're wondering about attack order, that's also coming up over here. So this is going to attack, then he attacks, then this attacks, then this attacks again, then he attacks, then this attacks again, then this attacks. Alright, let's go. And the animation is a little slow. I'll see if I can turn that up. Whoa, what happened to my guy? Oh, I skipped the turn. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. That's hyper annoying. Okay, well, we missed what happened because I just clicked in. Oh, and turn. <sighs> well, these are seriously hurt. Okay, not not doing good here, but oh well. Uh, who has more hit points? Uh, we'll just end the turn. We save our action points, so. Okay, you are going to go first, and you're going to hit for four against that. It's a little bit wasteful. Okay. Yeah, I'm not happy about how that played out. I'm not happy at all. i just go in. I've already screwed this up so much. It doesn't matter, does it? Uh, let's uh, do that one. Okay, all I wanted to do was speed up the animation. I didn't mean to skip to the next phase of combat, so that's why that was all entirely confusing. I think I am going to have to turn the volume down on this. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> kind of disgruntled now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what? Yeah. Huh? Oh, don't tell me it's... There we go. Okay. Okay, that's gone. <sighs> Good, that's gone. More damage. All right. Uh, so I think because of the way I did this, I probably took more damage than I would have if I stuck with the auto-resolve. We'll find out in a sec. Or, will we? <laughs> and maybe not? I don't get it. Nobody seems to be hurt. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, there we have it. Alright, so the next thing we want to do... Uh, is we do want to grab, we do want to gather wood. Uh, we also do want to do the meat thing for Theodore. Um, I guess we can keep exploring a bit. Oh look, there's more stuff over here. We can't move to it though. Can we move here? Nope. All right, I guess camping it is. Uh, yes, that'll get us a ton, and we'll just add Justin on there. Okay, and then crafting-wise, no, cooking, yes. Food. Oh, do we not have anything to cook with now? I think that's what it's telling me. Well, we can check our inventory, right? 70, wait, what? Why can't I cook anything? Compatible resources. Hmm, really? That sucks. Okay, uh, sure. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck with this. Uh, next turn. So 
so this wouldn't be a bad spot either even though there's no advanced resources next to it like the dryad wood we do get regular wood and we got two food stuffs that we could use to cook with so now we should be able to cook oh uh, we only still we still only have berry what the heck is going on we have do we not know how to make food with meat or something what hmm apparently uh okay I'm not sure what that's all about why can't I cook with why can't I cook my meat do I not have what is going on I'm I'm sorry guys I'm just confused whether I'm seeing a bug or not or, I, I swear to god I was cooking with meat yesterday okay uh, search the ruins despite the likely danger yeah resist it uh, what's our auto resolve gonna give us victory with grave injuries that's fine okay okay but then if we go in and check our stats everybody seems to be perfectly healthy so yeah, I, I don't know uh, that again is something that I kind of feel needs a little bit of uh, an addressment um, I'm not happy because I don't quite understand what's going on and it feels like something different than what my last game was like is happening so yeah uh, anyway um, we need wood for sure I guess we'll grab meat and fruit okay again still can't Still can't cook with it. Okay. Uh, and here is where he was talking about you can make the idol, right? So, yeah. Or you can make this crazy thing, which is the other ring, which will take your uh, compatible resources in place. So those are two options you have. But like I said, we want to make the idol and make a village, but we need uh, 55 wood or a lot more sandstone which I don't see available just at the moment but uh, anyway we do have another thingamajig over here so we could unlock this wood right and uh, then we could start gathering it but I don't want to do that just yet either because um, I'm not right next to it well guys Anyway, that's uh, the going to be the end of uh, the first episode of this Let's Look at Thea 2. Um, we'll see how far we go. I'm just not going to guarantee that... Uh, I'm not going to guarantee more than three episodes for now because, like I said, I'm still learning the game and everything. And I can't... I just don't have time to do all these playthroughs. And I do want to see Thea 2 get some polish. So, anyway. But leave your feedback. You know, I mean, I may change my mind. Who knows? Whatever. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you're interested, and I'll see you in the next episode, and we're going to try to go through and uh, at least get as far as starting a village so we can see how things are working. Uh, until then, bye-bye.